Another round of sequestration could happen soon unless Congress takes action. Those automatic budget cuts will impact almost every part of the federal government, including programs that help people in need. One of them is Meals on Wheels. Mike Gooding talked to people who would go hungry if that program was cut. Mike? Well, that's right, David and Regina. You know, usually when I report on budget cuts, I focus on ships and weapons systems and jobs. And while those items are urgent, so is this. The Peninsula Agency on Aging currently delivers hot meals every day to more than 470 senior citizens. Plus, they do wellness checks. 84-year-old Army veteran Chester Davis of Newport News counts on it. I love it because I don't have to cook with one twice a day. I eat breakfast and I, I get the meals on wheels and I, sometimes I fix a meal in the evening. But now, unless Congress gets its act together, Meals on Wheels and virtually every other federal government program are facing automatic 10% cuts on October 1st, thanks to sequestration. Congressman Bobby Scott, for one, is worried. If we don't pass a budget, uh, we get stuck with a sequester that's across the board cuts in all programs. And the Old Americans Act programs like Meals on Wheels and other services will be cut unless we do our work and pass a budget. Uh, and this is usually the only hot, nutritious meal they get in a day. And a lot of them, it's the only visit they have from another individual during the day. And like every other branch of the U.S. government, it's all on the cutting block, which would be especially bad for 67-year-old amputee Ralph Henderson of Newport News, who counts on Meals on Wheels. Yeah, I do. I have to count on it because nobody else is going to do anything. So here's what's got to happen. Congress must repeal the Budget Control Act of 2011 or pass a continuing resolution to maintain funding at the current levels or the cuts are coming back seven weeks from today. Unfortunately, nothing is getting resolved right now with Congress in the midst of a five-week recess. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Search is on tonight.